Hey, my babies, my soul tribe, my darlings. It's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. <laughs> welcome, babies. Welcome, welcome. Newbies in between them. I oh, geez. Okay. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. I'm always sending each and every one of you guys so much love healing, good vibes, okay? And I am so grateful for all of your love, support, all of your donations too that you give me. Oh my God. And I am deeply appreciative of all of the energy exchange, darlings, okay? I do want to remind you guys that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. And just remember, to only take what resonates out of the message, darlings, okay? I am just blessed. And I am deeply appreciative. And I want you guys to know that of each and every one of you guys. And I'm not always able to comment back because I am so busy. And I am also raising two beautiful boys. But know that... Every time you comment, every time you like, every time you share, every time you show me love, even if the video does not resonate at that point in time, and you still show love, know that I am giving it back a thousand fold, babies. And for each and every one of my readings, you will be protected, me as well, by Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael from any evil eye magic or any negative energy or entities that want to beguile or to hinder us in any way. We send it back a thousand fold. Amen, darlings. So let's get to the reading. Mm -hmm. All right, baby. So let's see what's going on. We have our what's the tea gossip and we're going to see what's going on. Okay. What is going on? So somebody is absolutely biting your style with copying your style, okay, at the split. Somebody likes how you dress, talk, look so much that they try to act like you. Ooh. So someone is emulating you, obsessed with you, obsessed with copying you. And I feel like they're after someone that you love or someone that you know is what I'm hearing. Okay, ooh, could be a false twin flame. So someone is copying you, wanting to be like you to impress a false twin flame of yours. <laughs> Spirit. Spirit is like, what an idiot. Ooh, okay. I'm just going to say what I hear, okay? Ooh, and we have betrayal here. Backstabbing, disloyalty, doing you wrong, betraying your trust. So someone was betraying you with a copycat. Someone that is obsessed with biting your style. I mean, they would wear your skin if they could is what I heard. Now, who is this person that betrays you? You're asking, well, this is a false twin flame. Someone that you thought was your real twin flame, but they're not, okay? So let's get some more. Who is this? So a narcissist is chilling right now because they think that they're with a better version of you because this person is copying everything about you, everything. I'm hearing at least everything that they can see because you don't post often. It says being really comfortable in life, not wanting to do the most at ease and at peace with the world. So this and right behind it is narcissist. OK, so this narcissist that's chilling thinks that they are not going to I'm hearing get karma for their betrayals because they betrayed you with a copycat is what I heard. Oh, child. A false twin flame. So you have someone that doesn't want to let you go. We have divorce in the reverse. Broken relationship, lost connection, severing ties. 
So someone that does not want to let you go is either betraying you right now with a copycat, someone that will never be like you, okay? But it's, I'm hearing, whoo, my ancestors. They're saying, but this is all that this person can get, okay? Especially if you have checked out. I'm hearing emotionally and physically or emotionally if you're still married to this person. But this person, whew, they were really disloyal. Like kept doing you wrong. Like you don't trust this person at all. And you have come to the conclusion that this is not your person. Period, point blank. Wow. And then they got some other egotistical, low vibrational, basic bitch. That's what I heard. That's what I'm going to say. In their ego because they picked them. And they only pick them because they can't get you. Because you are the originator. So they were going to go for basically the copycat. That's what I heard. So a false twin flame that you thought was your real twin flame. Backstabbed you and portrayed you. With a copycat. And you figured this out. Are you going to figure this out? And they're not going to want to let you go. But you're out of here is what I heard. Oh, that's the T. That's what people are talking about. Like they see this person for the scumbag that they are. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And now this person is salty, darling. Very mad, very upset because you don't want to deal with them. Okay. You have emotionally checked out a lot of you guys physically. And if you have not, if you're still dealing with this person, whether this is a relationship or a marriage, it's time for you to check out. Because they're still dealing with the copycat ass bitch. That's what I heard. That really thinks that, you know, they are something because your person is a scumbag. is very disloyal. They're a backstabber. So they're dealing with you and someone else. Okay? If you are still with this person. And when you leave, if you haven't already, they are going to be so salty. Because the karma is going to step in. It's like their karma, like the, the major part of this person's karma is on hold. Because God and your angels don't want you to go through this karma with this person. But they have been telling you to let this person go because they're a liar. They're a cheat. They're a backstabber. Woo, child. They are not your person. Okay? False twin flame still at the bottom of the deck. What is the T, child? What is the T? This situation involves cycles, death, birth, someone's attitude towards change, or personal growth. The eighth house. Yep. When you end it, didn't I say death? When you end this marriage or this connection, oh, how this person's karma is going to plague them for the rest of their life. They're going to realize how bad they fumbled you. They're going to be super salty and mad, okay, is what I'm hearing. But this is a false twin flame. This is someone that you thought was your twin flame. So you need to leave this person if you're still dealing with this person because divorce is in the reverse. So some of you guys still could be with this person, dealing with this person. You could have took this person back. And I'm going to be real. If you stay with this person, you're going to feel very upset, very salty because this person... It's not to be trusted is what spirit is saying. Ooh. Their attitude towards change is very arrogant. I'm hearing very defiant. And I'm hearing we don't like them. Okay? And you need to get rid of them if you haven't already. Okay, so your spirit team, your ancestors is coming through heavy like, listen, we've been sending you signs and synchronicities. If you haven't got rid of this false twin flame, I'm hearing this coward, this lame. You need to get rid of them, okay? Mm, so we can give you someone better. Your real twin flame. So betrayal, what did this person do? Other than still talking to, I'm hearing a copycat. Someone that wants to be you so bad. Ooh, child. We have, yeah! See, copycat in reverse. Because... I'm hearing your person knows that this person 
is not you and will never be you. But they still talk to this person or did talk to this person because of their own inner core wounds, right? Changes growth that they are reluctant to pretty much work on or they were reluctant to work on. But you're realizing that this is not your person, okay? And they can have this copycat ass bitch is what I heard. But your person is realizing that they portrayed you with a basic bitch when you are the empress. So that's the tea. That's what the people talking about. That your person's stupid. And they're also talking about whoever this basic bitch is, man or woman. I keep hearing basic bitch and my ancestors are telling me to relay the message how you hear it. So that's what I'm going to do, y'all. So sometimes it's going to be brutal. Sometimes it's going to be easy. All right. I'm really feeling like your ancestors, okay, they're fed the fuck up with this scumbag is what I heard. And whoever this copycat is, okay? Because some of these copycats have been throwing magic your way for a minute. And whoever this copycat is, oh, their whole world is fucked up. Don't get it messed up. <laughs> As yours is becoming back into balance, okay? The blessings is coming in. So divorce in reverse. Why this person trying to hold on to you so tight, okay? When I feel like you are getting the signs, the synchronicities, the downloads, the dreams to let this person go if you haven't already. Okay, exactly, because you keep shining, baby, and you're not going to stop. But Spirit is saying if you keep this person in your life, they are a blessing blocker. So please release. Yes, you are woke, or you soon will wake up to this person's bullshit. This is not your real person, it's not your twin flame, sweets. Okay. Be aware, knowing what's going on, community and humanity. Yeah. Your person don't want to let you go because they know that your future is great, baby. They can see it. They can see your aura is also what I'm hearing. It says your light irritates their demons, their toxic ass ways is also what I'm hearing. So even though they love how you make them feel, they love the fact that they can gain something off of you. Low key, they hate you. That's why they keep dealing with this basic low vibrational, ain't got no type of morals, ethics, or self-worth for themselves type of individual. Whether it's a man or a woman is what I heard. So why they so salty? Why they so salty, baby? Because they realize that that basic bitch is not you and never will be you. And they fumbles you. That's exactly what I heard. Oops. Yup. One-sided love. Yup. You don't love this person no more. You have taken back your power. You have taken back your emotions. I keep getting the visual in my third eye of the eight of cups. Like you have emotionally walked away from this person. Even if you're still associating with this person or you're still dealing with this person or in the process of leaving this person, you have emotionally already walked away. Okay. And you side eye the shit out of this person. Look at her. You're like, nah, I don't trust you. I never will again. Okay. And they are mad and salty because they're left with a wannabe when you are the originator, baby. Okay? So the eighth house. Clarify the eighth house. What's going on here? What's going on here? Yeah, fake ass friends that encourage them to deal with this wannabe. Okay? Now I'm heavily hearing this could have been your original twin flame. But you have been reassigned. That means a higher level soulmate from your past life your ancestors god your angels your spirit team have summoned okay or have awakened or have given them signs of synchronicities to come towards you so that they can be the reassigned true divine counterpart because whoever this original masculine was that was supposed to work with you i'm hearing it's done they allow their fake ass friends to end a higher love, a once in a lifetime love that you was giving this person on top of the fact that y'all was going to be like very prosperous financially. But all that shit is coming to an end because they allow their fake ass friends to tell them what to do, to tell them about you. And a lot of you guys don't even associate with these fake ass friends. You don't even know these fake ass friends. So the fake ass friends helped your person go towards a copy wannabe, right? 
all the while they were with you, portraying the hell out of you, but now they're salty because you don't got no more love for this person. I really feel like you're on your way out the door if you haven't already, okay? Because their attitude towards change was like, I don't need to change. Well, fine. Since you don't need to change, you need to be with a motherfucker like you, a basic bitch, okay? And your basic ass, fake ass friends that are two-faced. And I'm going to be real. This person's friends like you. They are sexually attracted to you. You are the empress. So on top of the fact that these friends are sexually attracted to you, actually wanting you, of course they're not going to be encouraging your person to go back with you because some of these friends, once this person release you, because I feel like they won't, this is something they're going to have to live with for the rest of their life, okay, losing you. But once they feel like their friend is over you, they're going to try to come and talk to you. Now, some of you, you don't even know these friends, but beware, okay? They just as fake as they come is what I heard, all right? Pretending to be buddy-buddy when you come around, but talk smack about you when you leave. Now, Divine Feminine, you are a psychic like your girl, right? And as us Divine Feminines, we can literally feel the energy, we know when the motherfucker is fake. And I feel like you've told this person about their fake ass friends. But hey, this is the type of person, your person has to learn the hard way, sweets. But your spirit team is not going to allow this person to drag you along their shitty ass path because of the decisions that they want to make. No. So that's why your ancestors and your spirit team has been telling you it's time to go, baby. If you haven't already, and if you have, this is confirmation. Don't go back, okay? So this copycat and betrayal, let's get another clarification on what's going on. Yeah, talking good shit. I mean, because there really is nothing bad to talk when it comes to you. What is there really to talk bad about you about? There is nothing. You are a really genuine, kind, unconditional earth angel that didn't deserve the betrayals, the lies, and the bullshit that this person puts you through, okay? Because they didn't want to heal or change or grow, okay? So your person that you are either moving away from or you have already moved away from, they're talking good shit about you because they realize that this copycat Ain't you. Will never be you, baby. On top of the fact that this copycat is toxic. And like I said, some of them did witchcraft. Doing the most to keep your person. Okay? It says people like what you got going on. Talking about your achievements and accolades. I'm trying to tell you, people on your side now. I feel like whoever this person was, they tried to paint you out to be this real bad, treacherous, demonic, low vibrational you know, one-sided, fake-ass person. But you continue to prove that that's not you. And you're not even proving shit. You're just being you. That's the thing. You're not proving shit to nobody. You're just continuously being you. And people are realizing that whoever this person was or is that you are moving away from or that you have moved away from, that they are a piece of shit. And they are talking about this person heavily on how they shouldn't have treated you the way they did. For what reason? For what reason? Right? And you are always off the grid. You're always to yourself. You could be a popular loner. You're an empath, okay? And people are like, what are you talking about? It don't match up what you are saying. It don't match up with this basic copy ass obsessed Woman or man is saying, trying to create rumors about you. It, it don't add up because it's not you. And people are realizing this. Ooh, the tables are turning, okay? And it's turning ooh, in a crucial way for whoever this copycat is and whoever this person is that either has now become a false twin flame or they were a false twin flame, all right? Put yourself where you belong. So divorce in reverse, keep shining. What is that? Yeah, but people have nothing but good things to say about you. Nothing but good things, baby. So don't worry. 
And I feel like you're not even worried. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. This person just wanted to keep playing games. And you wouldn't allow them. You're not going to play in my fucking energy or in my face. So if that's how you feel, go the fuck on. You're not the type of woman or man to beg and plead for anybody's love. You ain't doing magic to keep people. You're not doing none of that. If you're not going to love me and treat me right off of your own free will, get the fuck lost. You can deal with someone else that will deal with your toxic ass behavior, ways, and unhealed patterns. No, you're not that type of person, okay? You know that there is plenty of fish in the sea that will treat you right. So you're like, yeah, keep doing you, boo-boo. And you are either, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to say like, you're either is what I'm hearing for real, for real. I'm going to sneak away like and ghost this person or you have already left this person. You're not coming back. And this person is realizing this and they're salty. They're mad. And people are talking so much good shit about you. And it is irritating the hell out of this person because they fumbled you. Let's be real here, right? One sided, salty. It says the ninth house. This situation involves someone's beliefs, systems, religions, ideologies, higher learning, travel, and philosophies. Yeah, like you're too smart. You're playing chess, not checkers. The fuck? You have watched this person, observed this person, and you realize, nah, who the fuck you think you're trying to get over on? Not me. And either you ghosted this person, Block them on all social medias. Ain't give them the time of day nor the energy to argue for what? When I see you for who you are? Or you politely told them that you're out of here and that you don't want nothing to do with them. And then you ran down the list of why you're never coming back. Okay? And this person feels like you are absolutely intelligent. Okay? Your spirituality has helped you. Your intuition, your gut feeling has helped you realize that you are in a one-sided love situation and they mad as fuck. Not only that, you have a heavy spirit, ancestors, of course, God, okay? Um, extra, I'm hearing terrestrial, but like celestial. So some of y'all extraterrestrial, but I'm hearing celestial beings that are completely protecting and riding for you. Okay, maybe you could be extraterrestrial because you're rare, you're different, you're a unicorn, you're a fairy, you're a chosen one. And you have celestial beings, passed on loved ones, deities, orishas that are not playing about you, baby. Not at all. You got a mission, you got a purpose, and you're going to fulfill it. Okay, I'm hearing if we got anything to do with it, no one is going to get in your way. We're going to remove them. Okay. Fake ass friends in the eighth house. Yeah, for clout, okay? <sighs> so, listening to these fake ass friends, they basically allow these friends to rip them from true love, good love, great love that God was blessing them with, which was you. And they rather, I'm hearing, go towards people, fake ass empresses, emperors, low vibrational Jezebel, basic bitches, 304s is what I'm hearing. And all they were given in return was nothing. But I'm hearing sex and giving their money, their time, their energy with nothing in return. Their friends told them to chase clout chasers instead of chasing an empress. <laughs> That's why they feel salty and mad. They're realizing that their friends are fucking fake, that they gave you a one-sided love for too long, that they literally betrayed you for a wannabe, a user, a gold digger, a 304, a stripper, someone that has no morals and values, someone that is not a good mother or a father. And they're salty because it's over. You're not dealing with this person. And all people can do is talk good shit about you. <laughs> That's all people is doing. And it is irritating the fuck out of this person because they know it's their own doing on why you don't want to deal with them or why you're leaving this person. Mm-hmm. 
Mm, 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 mm. Doing it for the fame, attention, views. Doesn't want to be left alone being fake. So you didn't want to leave these fake ass friends alone. So you go ahead and be with them. That's what, woo, that's what their ancestors has also said, man. Their ancestors are very disappointed in this person, but it is what it is, man. We all have free will. We, I'm hearing, we tried. That's what the ancestors of this person is saying. We tried. Okay. Yep. Yeah. But they still want it to be toxic. They wanted toxic connections. We tried. Either they wanted to be toxic in this connection or they wanted toxic connections. They wanted copycats of you. When you had the real deal or the opportunity to be with the real deal. Mm. I'm hearing salty much. Woo. How does this person feel about this copycat now? Yep. They now know that the copycat was finessing them. I mean, but Empress, you would have already known that because you read these fake ass friends to filth. You knew that this person was dealing with fake ass friends. Even if you didn't know them on a personal level, you are an energy reader. Okay. You have gifts. Okay. Anywho. Smooth talking, persuading, pretty much manipulating and taking advantage. That's what they see this copycat as now. And you're nothing like that. You're kind, you're sweet, you're giving. Now, you're not going to take anybody's shit. Don't get it messed up. But you're forgiving, okay? You have great advice. You're smart, okay? You're talented. You are everything that this person wished that they was. Let's be real. Let's be real. How do they feel about these fake ass friends that they're realizing is fake ass friends? Okay. Yup, that they spread. I can't make this up. They feel like these friends did nothing but spread fake ass lies about you and this person. That they are deranged, right? It says fake rumors have been going around about you or the situation. All lies. Ain't no facts. So they're awakening to the fact that they listened, they chose fake ass friends over real love. All for clout, all for fame, all for money. All to deal with promiscuous Jezebel, low vibrational karmic individuals that are either meant to stay karmic or that was a lesson that this person ain't never want to learn because they were arrogant and belligerent. And they're realizing that these friends are fucking deranged because I'm trying to tell you, whoever this copycat is with these friends was doing magic on them and you because they're fucking psycho. You understand me? Weird, strange, and twisted individuals. I can't make this shit up. Your person feels trapped because you're not going to deal with any of this shit. I really feel like you are silent. You're silent. So even if you're dealing with this person, you're not talking to this person. Like you're on your way out the door, baby. If you already haven't left, you are on your way out the door. Like I said, some of you guys have left, okay? But, um, damn. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, I split the deck, y'all. Feeling trapped. I can't make this shit up. I can't. It says feeling like there is no way out. No way to improve the situation. Could be feeling suffocated in a circumstance or relationship. Yeah. That's what they wanted. So that's what they got. That's what spirit is saying. They regret. Look at this. They regret not being generous to you. Kind, unconditional, changing, growing, working on themselves and this connection. No, they rather listen to fake ass friends that spread lies that are low key psychopaths. Along with whoever this copycat ass, I'm hearing witchy bitch for some, a basic bitch for others. They ain't got no morals. A 304, okay? Yeah, they regret it. This person is in major regret. So the T is, baby, you up right now. You ain't stuck. You ain't depressed. You ain't stressed out. And even if you are, you're not showing it. Why? To give these... Basic bitch and these fake ass friends the satisfaction? No. Nope. 
And you are not proving yourself to this person or no fucking body because you don't give a shit to do so. Who are these people for you to even do it? No one. Nobodies. Okay? Now your person feels trapped because they trapped themselves. Let's be real here. Let's be real here. All because they want change. All because they want to grow up. All because they thought that whoever these friends or this copycat was, was better than you. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> How your person feeling? That's the tea. That's what everybody's talking about. Yup. Yeah. They know that they need to love themselves and let these people go. Yup. Yeah. But they ain't let them go yet because they still feeling trapped. Ooh, child. What else? How is your person feeling? What is the tea, child? What is the tea? Yep, nothing but groupies. That's all they're around, groupies. People that are users, manipulators. People that tag along just for the benefit, for the hell of it is also what I'm hearing. Don't offer nothing to this person. You understand me? These people just copy off of you, divine feminine, divine masculine. Because you are smart with ideologies and higher learning because you are smart. You are tuned in. You are tapped in with the universe, with source. You have untapped, you know, hidden knowledge that just comes out. I'm hearing occasionally, randomly, or just, it just comes out. You chose to educate yourself and better yourself. And these motherfuckers wanted to emulate and copy off of you, which this person actually thought that these people were better. The wake up call is real, y'all. Yeah. The wake up call is real. These gold diggers love the fact that they can control your person. They're hooked on your person. And that's why your person feels trapped. Mm. They're talking good shit. Let's see. They talking a lot of good shit about you. Let's clarify good shit when it comes to you. Yeah. Woo. This person is crying over you. While people are basically ripping this person, their fake ass friends and whoever this copy low vibrational basic bitch or woman or man is, okay? <laughs> they're ripping them a new asshole. They're laughing at them. They're telling them that they're stupid. This is what you get. They're going through mad karma and you're over here just chilling. And these people are crying because they actually, for some, they did come up against you. Some of these people did do magic because they're fucking psychopaths and they wanted their rumors and lies to be true. So they had to do some type of manipulating of the energy. But all that shit is done and people are seeing you for just this beautiful individual that didn't deserve any of this. Your person straight up lied on you to keep fake ass friends. And the Jezebel low vibrational energy that will never amount to anything. I'm trying to tell you, I am solely hearing what Spirit is saying. Because they can see more than what I can see. So they give me the tea. You feel me? But yeah, your person is crying now because people are like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you even fuck over an earth angel? What made you think that these people were better than this person? And... All they can do is smoke, drink, pop pills, party to get away from over consistently thinking about how bad they fucked up. For some of them, they are even stooping to, wow, whoo, doing sexual acts for money. This person is depressed. They're stressed. All of these people, your person, whoever this copycat is or was, and these fake ass friends, they're all going to go through a heavy drought. And in order to save face for your person or even these friends, they're going to try to do sexual acts for money. Three, 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 three was on the timer. Wow. And they're going to smoke, pop pills, get drunk in order to cope with having sex with the same sex. Or, you know, opposite sex for money. Damn. Damn. The saying is you're either going to have people level up to you 
or you're going to stoop down to them. And I feel like it's the latter for your person. They're going to stoop down to these people's levels because that's all they have around them is low vibrational energies that are giving them advice to do low vibrational shit for money. Because I'm, I'm hearing you are long gone for a lot of you guys. And if not, you are completely out the door. Mm. What else are they saying about you? What else are they saying about you? Please, thank you, sir. Yep, that they sabotage this. Yep. And they're crying because they know it's over. Whether this has already played out or it's about to play out. They know it's over. Yep. What else? Ooh. That you grown and you don't got time for the bullshit. Okay? You don't play kitty ass games. You're not delusional, deranged, twisted, demonic. You're not low vibrational. You have a lot of self-love. And you're no idiot just because you're kind hearted. Okay. It says not with the childish games has priority straight and not willing to downgrade your standards like the fuck. And they know that they sabotage this because they didn't want to level up, change, heal, arise to your energy because you're not lowering yourself for no fucking body. Okay. And that doesn't mean that you feel like you're better. No, you feel like you're equal, but you know what you deserve and you're not settling the fuck out of here is what I heard. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. They fumbled you. They were real irresponsible. Yeah. Playing games, you know, even trying to trip you up. Like your intuition was telling you that this person was a scumbag. You would confront this person and then they would trip you up. Like, no, that's not true. But you're, you knew, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you knew that this person was a fucking liar, but love and the possibilities of this person just doing you that way. You couldn't like handle it at the time. I feel like you've come to the awareness that that's who this person is. And it's time to go. If you haven't already, like if you already left this person, all of this truth is coming out and people are like, you fumbled her or him. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you is what I heard. And you know what the crazy part is? The fake ass friends, the groupies, and even this copycat is laughing behind your person's back because they got them. I heard like we got them. Yep. Ooh, child. One more for you. Let's see. It says fourth house, one sense of security, family, siblings, parents, ancestral heritage, roots, one's housing and comfort. So these people are saying that you are secure within yourself. You know who the hell you are. You are connected with, I'm hearing your family that is in the physical and in the 5D, you know, that is surrounding you, protecting you. Okay. You are a great parent. You are very comforting. You feel like home, but you also are stable. You are a stable individual. And these people that your person couldn't seem to let go of because of their own selfish ass reasons and for the fact that they didn't want to heal. That's why they couldn't see these people for who they were, who they completely are. Fuck worse, Spirit is saying, who they are. Okay? Um, now they're left with these people and you don't need this person. God got you. You know that you're sitting comfortable. You can own your own house, have your own apartment, have your own shit. I don't need extra baggage is what you're saying. Collective is what I heard. The fuck I can do bad all by myself. The crazy part is, you know what the crazy part is? These fake ass friends and this copycat. They look up to you, low key. Oh, as I spit that, I can't make this shit up. They feel like, like, what did I say you was playing? Didn't I say you was playing chess, baby? While these motherfuckers was playing checkers, they look up to you. You are intelligent and you're silently intelligent. Look at it. Knowing exactly what's about to happen, strategizing. Who you getting over on is what you're saying, collective. 
yep, low key, look up to you. Because you saw them for the low down, dirty motherfuckers that they are. You understand me? Or you figure this out. Even if you don't know who they are, some of you, you know who these people are. And for some of you, you don't. But you're so damn smart that you could not be fooled. <laughs> Even if this person was trying to trip you up. Yeah. You can't be fooled. And they damn sure wasn't going to trap you with no baby. You understand? For my feminines. Okay. So let's see how this person is feeling. They're feeling trapped. They're in regret. They're stalking you. Of course they're stalking you. Because a lot of you guys are not talking. That's what I heard. You're out You're out the door. Or you're on your way. Yep. And all they can do is stalk you and be heartbroken. Who fumbles someone like you? See, this person prejudged you. Okay? And you accepted this person for who they were. Who they are. Who they were. Whatever. You accepted this person. Okay? They didn't look at you like that. They looked at you like, oh, how can I gain something off of this person? And at the time, they couldn't see anything because God had it that way. Okay? Protecting you the whole time. You understand me? And once this person felt as though these groupies, these fake-ass friends, this copycat wannabe, these deranged, twisted motherfuckers was better than you, that's when God basically had you elevate, change, glow up. It's like a whole freaking 360 or 180, one of the two. Pointing cases, you completely changed. And it wasn't to be shared with this narcissist. It was for them to watch because they brought an earth angel into this person's life. And they spit in your face and threw you to the side because they couldn't see how they could use you. Mm, 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 mm. And now they're being used by multiple people, witchcraft and all. Like this person is stuck doing sexual acts with, with men, even if they are a man. Like, whoo. I'm hearing, you know, this person is to the point where they're not even believing in God anymore. They're thinking about going over to the other side. A lost soul. Damn. This is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, but you're woke to all of this. Yeah. You are woke to all of the magic that was being done, the gang stalking, a group of people trying to bring you down that was never going to happen. Let's be real. Be aware, knowing why. No, you know, knowing what's going on. This person is like, damn, they can't make it right. They did too much. And they got too many other people involved. All because you wouldn't basically be a groupie of theirs. Be a side chick, a side dude, all because you chose yourself and you walked away with self-love and said, I'm not fucking dealing with this. All because you chose to continue to become better, educate yourself. You wanted more and this person was not willing to give it. You understand? So you accepted it and you pushed forward. The fuck? You're not chasing a grown ass man. Who does that? You're not doing magic on a grown ass man. Who does that? No. Man or woman, put yourself where you belong. You're going to accept the fact that whoever this person was, they weren't feeling you and you politely, graciously left this person in the past. The fuck? Let's get a little bit more. Poker face, this person was a moocher. So they belong with these low vibrational, twisted, okay, lying, opportunist, manipulous motherfuckers. Manipulating is what I heard. Okay, I said manipulous. Manipulating motherfuckers, okay? This person would come around and have a poker face like they cared about you, whether this was a friend or this was someone you were in a relationship with, okay? 
or you currently are and you got to move the fuck on. This person is only there to get what they can gain. That's it. They're lying. They're, oh, I'm in love. Oh, you're this, you're that. It's bullshit. Poker face. It's bullshit. Okay? They're a fucking user. Just like the low vibrational motherfuckers that they don't want to let go of. But now they feel trapped. Because they're too far in, is what I heard. Ooh, someone who survives off of another one's income, one who even, if they have their own money, will use yours first. No equal reciprocity. None. Gimme, 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 gimme. And then when you're sucked dry, they still got all this fucking money in the bank and not even thinking about helping you with shit. When you're going through any issues, problems, they're nowhere to be found. They don't have any solutions for it because they don't give a fuck. Either someone needs to hear this because they're dealing with this type of person or you need to hear this because it's confirmation that you got rid of and dodged a true narc. Praise God. Hey, man, take him to church. We need a moment. Okay, because this person was real crafty, real strategic. They were real good at what they do, but you saw right through them over time and you dodged a bullet. Congratulations, because for some of you, it was hard to let this person go. For others of you, it was easy. Okay, but it still hurt because it's like, why? Why do all this to you? For what? When you have the best intentions for everybody, when life is hard enough, the fuck? Mm. See what else? Yes, now they stressed. Pressed. And you getting your rest. You feel me? <laughs> okay, because the issues are being addressed. And this person don't know how to handle their own bullshit that they were throwing at you with other fake motherfuckers that they have realized are fake motherfuckers because they were doing... All that they were doing, sending to you, but they were doing it to this person too. Manipulating, lying, spreading rumors. Ooh, why are your person so stressed? Why are they so stressed? Because they have nothing but energy, energy drainers around them. Nothing. Tapping into this person's energy, man, it's hard to talk. You got my son downstairs. He playing the video games and he's raging. That's how this person feel. <laughs> they are enraged at themselves. I don't know if you could hear that. Like my son. Yeah, that's that video game stuff. My body bear, man. I'm so proud of him. But I digress. <laughs> but yeah, this person is enraged at themselves, at these fake ass friends, and whoever this copycat is that was persuading them that they were you, but they never will be you. Okay, and they realize that. I mean, your person feels completely de depleted. Okay, it says this person will drain you of your energy and everything you got to give. Then that's what these people are doing. And that's this person's karma. Yep, they're dealing with distorted feminines or distorted masculines. Put yourself where you belong. But it's someone that is basically combative, full of conflict, apprehensive, irrational, and basically waiting for drama to happen. Basically. Mm, 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 mm. All because they want to love themselves and let these people go. All because they wanted to participate in some type of witchery with these people is what I heard too. To bring you down with some fake ass friends. Did you actually think God was going to let this play out? I'm talking to your person and the minions and the copycat that still don't want to let your person go. Did you really think that this was going to work out for you? Mm, that's crazy. Woo! The devil has a lot of people fooled. You feel me? Because the devil is a beguiler. The fuck? 
Lord, have mercy. Yeah, false twin flame came right out. So even if they were your real twin flame, like I said, they're not no more. Demoted, ripped from their title. Now, for others of you, this could actually be a false twin flame that you thought was your real twin flame. Ooh, they did the most, baby, to prove that they were not. And you were like, I got the hit. I'm out. Okay. This person was also, and I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be real, the friends that still want to be with you or want to try their hand at you, because I'm trying to tell you, you don't know some of these friends. But these friends in this even the copycat is bisexual, is what I heard. And she low-key likes you. Okay? Or he low-key likes you. Flip it, twist it. But your person, these fake-ass friends, and whoever this wannabe copycat is, they were all jealous of your gifts, your ambition, your talent, your purpose, you know, how you look, your spiritual ranking, your accolades, your achievements. I mean, your destiny, your inheritance. The protection that you have, we can keep going, okay? Ooh, child. All right, so it says, how one processes knowledge, communication, one's generosity, and social life. Yeah, so they always had your name in their mouth. I mean, these people were always sending you energy, and you were able to transmute that energy and use it for your benefit. This is one of the ways that you are excelling like super fast towards your goals and manifestations right now. Because first of all, all that magic and shit is being blocked. All these people are being blocked from coming your way. Even this person, that's why they feel trapped and all they can do is communicate. Now, mind you, you got these, you know, fake ass friends, groupies, and this copycat wannabe is looking up to you now and talking good shit because they know they got karma or they're going through karma. And there was no reason to come up against you. Let's be real here. Now, some of these low vibrational. <clears throat> now, you know, because these individuals are still on a low vibrational energy, they are going to try to blame the fact that because they came for you, they're going through this. And that's true. But some of them are trying to say that you threw magic and did this and did that. And you ain't do shit. You don't feel like any of these individuals are worth the repercussions of doing black magic. The fuck? You serious? Right? So in their social life, all they can do is talk about you. All of the karma that they're going through. This person that pretty much fumbled you. Did the most towards you for what reason? The fact that you are not and never will give this person the time of fucking day. All right? That they're a moocher, a liar, a manipulator, a finesser, and a groupie themselves. And they are salty. But they don't want to let you go. Now... Some of you guys, this could be energetically. Like I said, you've already like deuced. You was out. You're not dealing with this person. Okay, so energetically, they don't want to let you go. Now, if you are talking on some form of a platform like your girl, right? These people are tuned in to everything that you're saying. They're tuned into your social media. They're tuned into your life like a motherfucker. And it's because the rumors, the lies that they were spreading, they was praying that it was going to come true. But like I said, you don't have to prove and you are not going to prove yourself to nobody. And when I say nobody, I mean nobody. You don't give that many fucks. So as you kept being you, as the blessings kept rolling in, as you kept being protected and protecting yourself, as you kept being that righteous, beautiful, loving soul that you are, you were still moving forward. Even if they stagnated you for a minute or tried to, you were still moving forward. You're still gorgeous or handsome. But the fuck did they affect their own lives? That's it. That's the T. The T is, you know, whoever this person is, whether they're a, um, you know, false twin flame or they have become one, the groupies, the, the friends, and whoever this copycat, everybody talking about these people. They're, I'm hearing, whoo, Fights, drama, police being called. I mean, it's going to be a shit show. Or it is a shit show, is what I heard. Yup. Bad vibes. Damn. I'm hearing it was just good a week ago. Yeah. Before karma is getting deeper for these people. Because I feel like, you know, some of these people still try to send you evil eye, magic. 
And it just literally bounces off of you. It goes right back to them. Damn. Why these people won't get the hint to stop fucking with you? Now, some people did. Others, especially this person that's feeling trapped. Let's see. Woo! You have evidence. You have the evidence. You already know. Yeah. And a distorted feminine, you know, because this person is now ignoring this copycat, they're trying to blame you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, you have some of these low vibrational energies that understand that fucking with you, they fucked up their whole life. But you have this, I'm hearing some groupies and this copycat that just want to blame you for their own fuck ups. For the fact that this distorted feminine is a hoe. A 304. That this distorted feminine will never be you. She will never obtain your spiritual ranking. And your person don't give a fuck about this person. The only reason why they were dealing with this distorted copycat wannabe is because this copycat wannabe ain't got no morals, no ethics, no self-love, no self-worth. So they were able to do any and everything they wanted to do while being with this copycat wannabe see with you it's a fuck now we're not doing that you understand me so that's why they daydream about you because not only are you a challenge you're not going to take this person's shit and you damn sure ain't going to run over you to do what you want no okay so let's get some messages real quick let's get some messages Sexually transmitted demons. Yep. That's why another reason why your person is stuck. It's over. I mean, look at all of the low vibrational Jezebel men and women that this person associate with. Their business could even be wrapped up into low vibrational practices. Woo! Yikes, man. Or this person could have been dealing with these low vibrational karmics at a job. Okay? When they went out partying with their friends. Like... And they had an empress or an emperor. They feel stupid. Yeah. Number one enemy. Yep. Whoever this false twin flame is, these fake friends, this copycat wannabe groupers. Yep. The groupers, <laughs> these groupies. Yep. Do you give a fuck? No, because you're protected. Like you sleep good at night. That's what I heard. They are depressed, stressed the F out about you, of course. And they got a demon on their back that they try to send you with a group of people. Oh, yeah, they're going down. Their business is going down. Their housing is going... I mean, damn. I mean, damn. I'm going to be real, okay? 1010, okay? It's time for you to step into the newness of life with joy and trust, spiritual awakenings, and discovering inner wisdom. Yeah. Even though you know that these people are your enemy, you don't care. You have stepped into a new beginning and things are looking up, then up, up, up for you. You feel me? Says, my love, I'm going to find a way back to you. You really don't give a shit. That's what I heard. No, keep your ass over there. And that's what your spirit team is saying too. Hell no, they are number one enemy. The fuck? My love. Niggas, ooh, I'm about to say niggas is tripping. <laughs> and Earth sign is a big ass hater. I feel like that's the... Copycat ass wannabe. That's your number one enemy. But as far as you're concerned, so is this person. You don't trust this person no more. And they got a demon on their back. Now, the demon could be an earth sign, a, a distorted feminine, or it can actually be an entity, a gem that's on their neck that is siphoning them. Because look who they're hanging around, associating with, doing business with, is what I heard. Ooh, child. Says, yep, getting arrested. Yeah, your person's going to get arrested. Somebody in their family close to them is going to pass away because of all the shit that they did towards you with these people. Man, like I said, and like I heard, a shit show. This person's going through a shit show. Yikes. Powerful, positive energy surrounds you. Magic and miracles. Absolutely. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Like I said, you done already stepped into a new beginning. 
Okay, whether you're single or you're dealing with someone else, you just stepped into a happy, prosperous new beginning. You don't give a damn about who the boy, all this baggage this person has. Like, you, you listen, stay where you at. You ain't got to come towards the collective, is what you're saying, spirit. That's what spirit is saying, but I meant to say that's what you're saying, collective. Okay, spirit is telling this person to stay where they at. Damn, do not come towards the collective. They are in a powerful state right now. They didn't gain their power back. They're in a positive energy and you're not going to come and fuck that up is what your ancestors and your spirit team is saying to this person. And they are hurt. Baby, they hurt. You understand me? Yeah, because you're the total package. Brains, beauty, and booty. You feel me? But that's their, I'm hearing karma for the rest of their life that they fumbled you. Who would trust someone that ganged up on them with other people? Who would trust someone that allow other people that don't even know you to tell them about you? <laughs> Instead of them coming to you to talk. Instead of them paying attention to you in the relationship, if you had one with this person. Sheesh. An earth sign is in love with you. Yeah. I feel like you got an earth sign woman that's a hater. And then this person is an earth sign. They're in love with you because they're nothing to hate about you. This person wanted to delusionize themselves and try to pick and nitpick at you to find anything so that they can justify their shitty ass behavior with these other people towards you. And now they can do nothing but look at themselves and the shitty ass decision that they made to come against you. And it is ruining their life for the rest of this lifetime. I can't make this up, y'all. I just can't. Like, this is crazy. A fire sign is in love with you. This is someone that you could currently be with. A fire sign. Okay? That loves you. The fuck you need this other person for? They come with too much baggage. For some of them, you know what I'm saying? They have... Spirit, you going in today. They got multiple kids by low vibrational karmic ass baby mamas that you don't want to deal with, is what I heard. No, stay over there. Yup, no guidance. Lost without you. Needing your energy and your help. No, so it's over. Like, no. Okay. What else? Yup, you're protected. 444, four, four, and you're stable. Stability, protection, healing, leveling up, evolution of self, new opportunities on the horizon. You're not even paying this person any attention, but they are like holding on to your energy, holding on to the possibility of getting back with you. This person is, is a narcissist. They have mental issues. For real. They're deranged just like these fake ass friends. They, they, they all deserve each other, man, is what I heard. They all deserve each other. Lord have mercy, God. Okay, it says they're on the download. Didn't I say that they're doing something strange for a little bit of change? They're having sex with men if they're a man. Okay, if this is a woman, they're having sex with men and women doing any type of things and heavily self-medicating themselves so that they can't be present. And they're doing this for money. And just as fast as the money comes, just as fast as it goes. So this person is going to always be violating themselves for money. Violating themselves for money. Didn't I say this person is basically worshiping the devil? They don't even believe in God no more. All because of their own decisions. How you not believe in God because you chose to go down this path? And you actually think you weren't going to get karma? Yeah, man. That's how that be. That's, that's, shit. It says the karmic does spells on me to keep me stuck. Didn't I say? But they was kikiing, right? With this low vibrational karmic, their friends, these groupies, when they were doing it to you. But didn't I say that this karmic was still doing it to them? And they had other people believing that you were, you know, this terrible person. But people don't believe that no more. They don't. Okay. I'm hearing it's a new dawn. It's a new day. And it's time for you to start feeling good. You feel me? Yeah, this person could have a white car or you have a white car. This, cur this person has a um, court case pending, child support. Didn't I say this person? 
has multiple baby mamas by low vibrational. Ooh. Mm. I'm going to just leave it there. Low vibrational females. Okay. Distorted females. And this person probably wanted to trap you with a baby, but God said, nah, that will never fucking happen. <laughs> that will never fucking happen. Nah, nah, nah. Never. Okay. Completion, transition, spiritual enlightenment. Okay. Intuition, inner guidance. Yeah. 1212 on the clock. Okay. Hell no. You're about expansion, evolution, and you know, you're limitless. And God wasn't going to let this person limit you no more. Okay. Ooh. For some of you, this person could have been working with these people for a minute to stop you. It stagnated you, made you a little sick sometimes. You know, you could have felt real tired and all that. But yeah, it's okay. God allowed these people to hang themselves and dig themselves down the rabbit hole so that they couldn't basically climb out. Okay? God knew what God was doing. All right? Shoot. Even though God um, fights your battles and does your dirty work, God knows the easier way. So they ain't got, you know, God don't have to do too much. They let people, <laughs> God let people hang themselves. Okay. It says your energy brings me life, luck, and blessings. Yeah. So they just want to come and siphon off of you. And God was like, no, you're blocked indefinitely. Yep. Yeah? They're going to try to text you. So beware. Okay. Yeah, but spirit is in God is saying, love, love yourself. This person is full of shit. Heads up. Okay. So yeah, you have magical, I'm hearing foresight and magical energy and whatever this person has built, have even gained these groupies and these low vibrational energies from your energy. Okay. Cause that's all they can manifest. They can't manifest the type of person that you are, that you can manifest. They siphoned your energy and built their own life off of it and it's crumbling right before their eyes because you're indefinitely blocking this person. But yeah, your energy did help this person because it's full of magic and miracles. You're an empress. You're an emperor. You've done that work. You are, like I said, spiritually ranked high. Like you're vibing high at all times, okay? And the one time you either let this person in or you did let this person in or you were in a relationship with this person or you still could be, okay? Please put yourself where you belong. This person was feeding off of your life force, but they can't do that shit no more, okay? Let's see what their zodiac sign is. So we have Mars, which could be Scorpio or Aries. We have Pluto, which is Scorpio, heavy Scorpio. We have Aquarius, okay? We have Mercury, which I believe that's Scorpio. A lot, damn, heavy Scorpio. So like it's over, 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 over when it comes to everything in this person's life is crumbling. I'm, I'm, oof. On top of the fact that it's over between you and this person, okay? That is what I am getting heavily. A Libra energy. And a Cancer. Okay, so any of these placements in their chart. But heavy Scorpio, heavy Aquarius, Libra, and Cancer. So Aries may be somewhere in their chart, but heavy Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, and Cancer. All right? Pisces at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, child. Real quick, let's see, you know, a little bit of who this person is. Just to give you a little verification. And then we're going to give you an advice from my book. Who is this person? So the collective can know, just in case. Someone that is either very poor or if they were rich, there they won't be no more. Because they ganged up, okay, on you with a group of people. But also, this is someone that's um, influencing a community. But, man, they, they are going to fall from grace or they're falling from grace. Yep. Definitely a man. Could be an older man. They are absolutely concerned. They know this shit is whoo, coming for them or it is happening now. And they're concerned because they know 
They know. Yep. They know is what I heard. Who is this? Okay, a woman that distorted feminine. So you have a, look, you have a man and a woman in this car. So it's a man and a woman. All right, I'm seeing the ages between 20 and 60. All right, is the age, age ranges. But these people are going to be poor, broke, busted, and disgusted. Because they wanted that for you. Golly. Yeah. A lot of these people will be hospitalized, diagnosed with cancer, illnesses, uh, long-term sicknesses, depression. You know, whoever this, I am zoned in on this Aquarius car. So this person could be an Aquarius. But this person is sick. They're a narcissist. They have mental issues. Okay. But those mental issues are just going to get worse because they have a, a, a demon on their neck. And all that they wish for you and sent towards you by themselves and with, you know, a woman and the group of people is coming back to haunt them a thousand fold, baby. Like you do a lot of return to senders. Okay. A lot of protection, but you're also protected. Okay. Woo! This is someone that could also be married or have a family already. Yep. Their house. I'm hearing foreclosure. I'm hearing bankruptcy. Wow. Um, all because they wanted to steal from you. Ain't that some shit? After they realized that you were the real deal. They thought that they could take your energy and give it to a basic bum Jezebel bitch. Is what I heard, y'all. I'm literally saying what I'm hearing, okay? Some of it is brutal. I'm not going to lie, okay? Damn. And they had, you know, their minions. You see a, a, a woman and a little a boy. So this could be someone that um, is married. And they, they have a child with this woman, okay? Or one of the many women that they have children with is what I heard. And uh, this person, whoever this, this is, not, I'm hearing this is not a little boy. This is an immature, like 20 something year old. Okay. That also was in on it. Damn. And if not, it's just, you know, your person that they have a child with or that they marry to and that they have a child with or one of the women. Yep. They're concerned. Poverty. Yeah, this is someone that they are either dating or courting. Yeah, they have, okay, this is someone that they have a family with. So some of them, they're married, and some of them, you know, they're, they are just dating this person, living with this person. And like I said, it's a wealthy man that is going to basically lose it all. And this wealthy man is doing a lot of strange things for some change. And they got this advice from their friends and whoever this Jezebel energy is. And ooh, they're so depressed there. Ooh. Mm, damn. This is sad. For money? Mm. You know what the sad part is? People that choose money over love, if they would just realize that love is the ultimate frequency and when two people are really in love, you can manifest money. But hey, I mean, hey, damn. Anyway, yeah, what occupation and the community, they work with a community to do work on your business, okay? And everything that they stalled, you're going to get back times a thousand. I mean, all of the blessings that they tried to hinder for you, you're going to get that back bigger and better. Like this is going to, I'm hearing quadruple. If they did any magic on your looks, if they did any magic on, you know, your partner, say if this is a friend, okay, a jealous coworker, all right, you're just going to get more beautiful. Your person is just going to get more successful. They're going to get more handsome. Like all that they did is going to backfire for you in such a beautiful way. But for them, I'm just leaving right there. Man. It's, it's not going to be good. It's not good. It's not good, okay? It's not. And they can't shut you up. They can't. Because people respect you. And they forever will. People are talking good shit. And you have these people worried. Why did they even come up again? Sheesh. 
because they thought you were an easy target, because they thought you were weak because you were kind. <laughs> Little did they know they were fucking with the right one because mm, mm, their life is shit. Lover, thief, yep. You, for some of you, you are already dealing with someone, you were happily married to someone or in a relationship and you had this person come towards you to try to take you because of money, because of your energy, because of just what they can benefit off of you, okay? So this could have been a friend for some of you, a coworker for some of you that wanted to steal your person, okay? A feminine energy. This could have been a masculine energy that wanted to steal your feminine. Put yourself where you belong. But this person is going the fuck down and this is going to be publicized. If they broke up your happy home, that's a part of their karma. If they affected your children, that's another part of their karma. If they affected your money, your finances, that's another part of their karma. If they did black magic, ooh, death magic. I mean, the karma is so high. Mm. Ooh. Just... just, 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 just. <laughs> Judition, judication. This person's going to jail along with spiritual jail. We got court here. This person's going to want to commit, you know, I don't know if I can say it on here, but yeah, they're going to want to commit that because they're going to literally lose everything they're going to be a disassociated from their children i mean damn and the people that they worked with oh they're going to feel the same exact way because a lot of you guys you know you went through oh by the behind the scenes you went through a lot of mental turmoil mental turmoil see i can't even hardly talk Mental turmoil. And it was because of these people. And you just couldn't understand what the hell was going on. Now you do. You understand fully. You have the truth. And now God wants to let you know and show you that so does everyone else. So does everyone else. Mm, 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 mm. And justice is being served. Yup, I split. Wealthy man is concerned because they're going to jail. They're trapped for life. <sighs> did magic to get money with the false person. They did manipulation, magic, energy, siphoning just to get money. Breaking so many spiritual laws. I was listening to this one reader and I forgot her name. And she was describing um, a Harry Potter scene. So this person could look at Harry Potter. And my left ear is ringing heavily, okay, right now. And she was explaining in the scene, it was this villain. And the villain would basically drain unicorns. And that was breaking a spiritual law. Like, that was breaking the law. And that's exactly what this wealthy man, that group of minions, and whoever this copycat wannabe do, two people, they drain unicorns, chosen ones like you. And do you understand the consequences that this person has coming to them? They're already starting to see it, feel it, be haunted by it. That's exactly the comparison. Whoever this wealthy man is and whoever that was with them, that was sucking off of unicorn beings like you, It's time for their demise, their downfall, and everyone will see it. Everyone. Damn. That's crazy. But yeah, this person broke a lot of spiritual laws. This person even broke the law. This person could have even went to jail before I heard, and they just can't help themselves. Yep. This person had so much time to get it right, to be right. And they got caught up in the lifestyle. They got caught up in thinking that they were going to get away with what they were going to get away with. And yeah. Ooh, look at, and I, I, I 
split it to main male. So you could be with a man that you have a child with. You and this person is going to be very fortunate, right? Because you are the privileged lady. This is what your destiny holds. And this is what these illegitimate, deranged, twisted motherfuckers. The leader is this wealthy man. And whoever they were married to. This is what you are always ordained for. And you were damn sure not going to allow these motherfuckers to take it. Or to take your man. Okay? And now if you're with a man... This man was not going to allow whoever this person is to take you because they're protecting you as well, energetically, yeah? And this person is moving with you, has moved with you. They have changed, okay? So put yourself where you belong, right? This could be a friend, a so-called friend, woman or man, okay? I'm talking about the head honcho here, that... Wanted to take you from your man or your man from you. Put it where you want it, right? Or this could have been someone you were in a relationship with. Or this just could have been a friend, which is really a foe, all right? A coworker. Whatever the case is, right? Either you have this man coming in towards you or this woman coming in towards you or the man or woman that you've been with that this group had tried to break you up from, okay? You and this person is going to live such a luxurious life while you basically, for some of you, watch this group of people sink. I mean, sink in the worst way in every aspect of life while you and your person get what you deserve. Get what they tried to take from you is what I heard. Yeah. Damn. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Like I said, whether this is a, you know, your true twin flame coming in or you were always with your twin flame and these people were hell bent on breaking you guys up, ruining this. But you guys were always protected. Always. Your person had your back and you had theirs. Ooh. And this was meant to happen like this because this person... They already knew that this person was going to fail so miserably. Whoever this wealthy man is that ganged up with these fake ass friends and this wannabe that want to be you. Yep. They already knew this person was going to do what they did. They just, you know, gave them pretty much the rope to hang themselves. But they had some faith. I'm talking about God, you know, the, the celestial beings that was backing this person up. They had faith that this person would turn around, but nope. That's not happening. That was never going to happen. Okay? Damn. Mm, 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 mm. Um, so let's get an advice from my book. And then this is the this is the end of the reading, babies. Okay. But yeah, you are still much respected. You're still gonna get, you know, what you are manifesting, whatever that is for you. You and your true person is coming back together or you already came back together and they are shitting themselves because they know that the karma is going to be deep for what they tried to do. Okay. And um, you're going to go off and live a really beautiful life, kind of a fairy tale life. Because all that they did, it like, like I said, it ante upped your blessings. So you're going to be living a fairy tale life while these people watch you. And they're going to be going down. I'm hearing the shitter. That's what I heard. Now, we have our book, What You Need to Know. Let me flip through this and see what you need to know, babies. Okay, when it comes to just this search, this situation, circumstance, just in general. Uh, stop. Okay. It says, refining your visions. Happy endings are always a good thing. I can make it up. Boo. You are always going to have the happy ad, happy ending. Always. And the happy endings are always a good thing. Damn, that's love. Ha! Look. Happy endings are always a good thing. Yes. Now, Spirit said, read the other side. It says, you are really beginning to realize that the world can be as you envisioned it. 
You feel me? So everything that you've envisioned for yourself and this partner or your future partner is going to come true because the happy ending was always yours to begin with. That is the reading, babies. A long one, but a much needed one, okay? Take out of this reading what you resonate with and leave the rest, okay? This person is going to come back because this person is relentless on letting you go. Best thing you can do is block this motherfucker. This is someone that right now seems to be wealthy, but in the future, all of that is going to go away. Yeah. And they know exactly why. Them, this copycat wannabe, and these fake ass friends, groupies and minions. They all know. Till next time, babies. Keep being amazing. Keep being resilient. Keep fighting for your future and for what you want in this life so that you can pass it down to the next generation and the next generation after that so that their lives can be just as beautiful as yours is about to become. Till next time, babies. Bye.